If I'm trans, right, and I'm knitting together in my mother's womb, in God's image, and I'm gay and trans, does that not make God gay and trans? So what did I, what did I do for you? Hi, uh, my dad's actually a minister, and uh, I'm gay. And honestly, mate, What's I don't... Aaron McAllister. Anyway, he's I don't. Strong, Reverend Aaron McAllister, born, <laughs> raised in this country, knows everything that you're going to say about this. And if you're going to try and pick on someone who doesn't know his stuff, that's not yeah, very fair. Yeah, beat you. Well, who was who, who 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 picking on him when he wanted to talk to me? I think you're, I think you're trying to condescend that man because you think you know more than him. And that's not what God is. That's not what God is. God loves me for who I am because I'm knitted together in my mother's womb, in my father's womb, as God. God's gay, God's trans, God's everything. Everything, including you, including them, including everyone here. So, who said, who said God is trans, man? Uh, if, if I'm trans, right, and I'm knitted together in my mother's womb, in God's image, and I'm gay and trans, does that not make God gay and trans? No, because because God is not a tree, and God is not a God is not a lion. No, no, it's not true. Your creation, God is God is a creator. You are creation. Yahweh in Hebrew is every breath that you take because they don't believe in saying the word God. So they say Yahweh. Every breath you take has God in it. Every word you speak has God in it. So even if you're gay or trans, he loves you no matter what. And there's no point in listening to this sad sack come into our country and tell us that we're wrong. Well, you are wrong because if you ask your Mr. Reverend, Reverend McAllister, well, then he's a false prophet. He's not. I never said he was a prophet. He's a false pastor. He's a false teacher. Any any anybody that says that any anybody that says what you're saying is anti-biblical. It's not even in the Bible. God is not man. He is not creation. I'll read it right from the Bible. God is right. Your 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 pastor is wrong. Your dad is wrong. But, yeah, and I am, and I will come in. I will come in this country and tell you what's right or wrong because I'm a man of God. The Bible says in Romans chapter one. You're, yeah, and you're taking the word out of context. The Bible says in Romans chapter 1, God said, God did it, God said it. He said this. This is what God says in Romans chapter 1. He says this, the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteous men and women who hold the truth in unrighteousness because that which may be known of God is clear in them. For God has showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made. And it goes on and says this. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of God, into uh, of the uncorruptible God, into an image made like corruptible man, to birds, four-footed beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore, God gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own flesh to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of God in a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forevermore for this cause God gave them up to vile affections for even their women did change the natural use of the man into that which is against nature I'm gonna say it again God says it's against nature for women to sleep with women and it says and likely likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the women burned in their lust one towards another men with men doing that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error which was meat and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do the things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventor, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, and this is the this is the point. Without understanding, without covenant breakers, and without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do they do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. That is you right now, many of you. You have pleasure in those who do wickedness. You become unreasonable without understanding, you break your covenants, you have no natural affection, you hate God, 
And that is why God gave you over to a reprobate mind. A reprobate mind is one that no matter how much times I tell you right from wrong, you will never see it. You've chosen to blind your eyes and close your ears to the truth. And it's to your own damnation. It's to the own damnation of your soul. Your own soul. Yes, read down the chapter. You want to read down Matthew chapter 7. Guess what? Yeah, you want me to read it? I'll read it. Absolutely. You feel, you feel good blowing smoke in my face? That's okay. You're just, you're, just, you're just assaulting people. You're abusive. That's all. And it's just, it's just demonstrating that what I'm saying is the truth. Because I'm over here preaching the truth and preaching what's right. Meanwhile, you're being abusive. So who's a, hate, who's a hateful person? So you want, you want to give me cancer because you want to have cancer. You want to blow smoke in my face. Like, no, no, it's all good. I'm good. No, 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 no. You're, you're giving yourself cancer. Look on, look on the label. Look on the label. You're smoking. You're underage. Are, are, is that what they allow? In, in, do they allow this stuff in, in, in Ireland? Well, at what age are you allowed to smoke in Ireland? Whatever you want. Whatever you are. Okay, watch, move, get the wire here so it's not... Hold on. It's 18. How old are you? I've been a heavy smoker since then. How old are you? 15. 15 and you're smoking. Well, you, you should be proud of yourself. You're, you're talking like a child. You're a child. You should have some respect. So, go ahead. You can think what you want. All of these people think wrong, but you can just think whatever you want because they're all wrong. So, so, sorry. So, of course, I can think what I what I what just I stop being judgmental, right? Just stop being judgmental. Yes, see if people want to wear whatever, whatever. They can't. Boy, girl, whatever. They can see if people want. Right. So, so this is this is the point, brother. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. You know, when you when 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 when, when people preach the word, there's a reason why the word's being preached to you. It's being preached to you because the word is there to help you. Now, you might not understand it right now. Because you're around your friends, you're living your lifestyle, and you have all right. Nobody's nobody's forcing anybody to be here. Nobody's forcing you to be here. Hold on, hold on. You, you listen to me, young man. You chose to be here. Every one of you chose to stand around here and listen to me. And what that means is that there's something that's drawing you. I believe it's the Holy Spirit. I believe God is drawing you here because He loves you. He loves you. I believe it's a negative talk you're talking to everybody. Yeah, so. He fucked up me, Smith, and he fucked you. He's not talking about you. He's just talking about his opinion. You spoke about your opinion. Give him space. This is abuse. He's a person. The Bible, the Bible says, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 31, verses 9. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 31, verses 9. Open your mouth, judge righteously. And plead the cause of the poor and the needy. The Bible actually does say to judge. We judge righteously. The judgment that you're talking about, lady, whoever brought that up, is false judgment. It's judgment to condemnation. I judge you not for condemnation, but so that you might have life. That you would repent of your sins and trust in Jesus. That's why I judge. That's why I share the truth. And in fact, everybody judges. You see, when people criticize preachers, you're judging. When people say somebody's wrong, they're judging. And everybody says right and what's wrong. The question is, are you right or are you wrong? Lay my head at your feet because I'm not worried.